welcome to today's lesson of our English for All program. Don't forget that you can pause the video at any time in case you need to review something. It is important that you write down your questions and share them during the online live tutoring YouTube sessions. Or you can write them in the comments section below and one of our teachers will answer it. Thanks again and enjoy our program. Beginner 1, Lesson 6. Expanding our vocabulary. When asking about the time, we can say, what time is it? We can then answer, it is six o'clock. It is half past three. It is quarter to four. It is quarter past seven. We use words like in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, and at night to describe different times of day. The two modes of time we use are a.m. and p.m., or morning and night. Prepositions we're going to learn today are on, at, and in. The days of the week are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Today is Saturday. When talking about the time, we use the verb to be to tell the time. For example, what time is it? It is three o'clock. When the hour is exact, you can use a clock. For example, if a clock says five zero zero, you could say it is five o'clock. You can add the stations of day as well. It is five o'clock in the morning. It is five o'clock at night. It is three o'clock in the afternoon. Twelve exactly is either midnight or noon. 12 o'clock is also correct. There are two common ways of telling the time with minutes. You can say the hours first and then the minutes. 7.45 p.m. equals 7.45 at night or p.m. 4.32 a.m. is 4.32 in the morning. 12.34 is 12.34 in the afternoon. For minutes 1 through 9, you can pronounce the zero as O. For example, 1106, 1106, 308, 308. It is not always necessary to say a.m. or p.m. The second way is to say the minutes first and then the hours. Use past and the preceding hour for minutes 1 through 30. Americans and Canadians often use after. 5.30 p.m. It is 30 minutes past 5. 6.15 a.m. It is 15 minutes after 6. Use to or till, until, and the forthcoming hour for minutes 31 through 59. For example, 8.35 is 25 minutes to 9. 7.45, 15 minutes till 8. Another possibility of saying 15 minutes past is a quarter past or a quarter after. Another possibility of saying 15 minutes to is a quarter to. Another possibility of saying 30 minutes past is half past. For example, 5.30 can be half past 5. You can use this diagram of a clock to help you better understand the different phases of the hour and how to describe them. Grammar. When we talk about when something happens, we use prepositions of time. We can use be sentences to tell when something is scheduled. For example, the test is on Monday. The test being the subject, is being the verb, and Monday being the prepositional time phrase. We use on because the word that follows is a day. There are times when you may need in or at. Prepositions of time, in, on, and at. In. We could say, in 2007, in January, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, in the summer. On Saturday, on January 14th. On weekends, on holidays, on weekdays, on the 10th. At 2.30 at dinner time, at breakfast, at lunchtime, or at night. 
Use in with years, months, and parts of the day, or seasons, and in expressions like, in a few minutes. For example, I was born in 1979. We were in Japan in August. The barbecue is in the evening. Can I call you back in a few minutes? Use on with days of the week and dates, and in expressions like on weekdays, on weekends, and on weeknights. The barbecue is on Saturday. It's on January 14th. I often go to the movies on weekends. Use at with times and in expressions like at night, at noon, at midnight, and at dinner time. The party starts at 7 at night. We eat pasta at dinner time. I hope you have enjoyed your lesson. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our videos. Hit the bell icon to turn on notifications for all of our new videos. If you are enrolled in our premium or interactive ELAN programs, we invite you to use our learning platform to complete all the exercises in the virtual library according to your own level. Our teachers have also chosen additional resources that can be very useful in your learning process. Once again, thank you for choosing ELAN and we will see you next time.